Dapper Laughs, how are you doing? Yeah, good. It's good to be here. Yeah, good fun. Great event. Looks exciting. Yeah, it's good vibes tonight, isn't it? High energy, all of that. Yeah, loads of flashing lights, neons. It's all good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Fantastic. Well, obviously, you've built a very successful career from using social media, being a very, very funny man on social media. So how does it feel that social media is being so celebrated this evening? I think it's uh, it's nice because secretly, deep down inside, all sort of social media influencers want to be famous, right? They all want to be celebs. And uh, this makes us all feel very special. I'm really privileged because my career has been really up and down, especially my time of comedy there's always a real thin line and sometimes I get it wrong and I've caused a lot of upset before in the past getting it wrong but one thing that I've always had stay sort of strong and true to me is my followers on social media so I've done TV film everything but still the grassroots of it all and and I'm not I'm up for a nomination uh, today and I, I received an overwhelming amount of votes I think more votes than any of the other uh, nominees in there purely because my, my, my followings you know so so they've been on my whole journey for years and it, I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to create your own fan base so no matter what happens in, in your commercial career or what happens out there that you can always count on them to keep you going so it's great absolutely I think the one thing that is so fantastic about you is that yes your comedy has pushed the line but I think you're always humble enough to step back and go I, yeah, yeah. You know, I apologise, but then you come back again. Yeah. You come back strong, you still make us laugh. And I think that's why you keep going, because a lot of people sit down. Yeah. I think I think it's important. I mean, cancel culture is a real difficult thing, especially if, if you're still being cancelled for things you've done in the past. I mean, I've grown up on social media, so what I was like 10 years ago in comparison, you know, the, the things I found funny then in comparison to now are just completely different. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's, it's difficult to punish people for stuff they've done in the past. But if you can, like you said, if you can evolve, you know, I'm a father now, I'm married, I've got two beautiful daughters, got lovely dogs, a nice house, and all of my comedy has sort of evolved with my maturity. And um, I think my audience has grown up with me as well. So luckily it, it, it sort of all works. But you know what? We're all a bit stupid and say stupid things sometimes. You just got to move, roll with the punches, man. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Would you ever do, and I don't, please forgive me if I don't know that you've already done this, but do you, have you ever done stand-up? Would you think about doing stand-up? Yeah, no, do you yeah, do stand-up? No, I'm, 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 you, sh you should know, no. I'm a prolific stand-up comedian in my own mind uh, but I've done like I've recently uh, sold out the Indigo at the O2 and I've done you know I've done uh, the Troxy I do my own big shows so my, 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 my base is where I come from was stand up uh, years and years ago but I'm not really trendy in the stand up community I was sort of ousted by then because I'm so social media bound so that's why you wouldn't normally probably um, relate me to stand up but that's what I love doing that's what well that's fantastic and this is good for our our viewers to understand this that actually you, you do hit the stage so people can actually come out yeah, and yeah, see yeah. you on stage because I mean I think your humour is brilliant it makes me laugh really? out loud and I think you. when you bring in your, your family and things like that it's always great because it's relatable oh, humour too you. I feel I feel really, I, it feels really strange for me to be here and be nominated because the, the industry as a whole shunned me so long ago so to get a nomination uh, for an event like this and to have brands want to be associated with me I'm just feel privileged, so it's great. You're basically Craig David of the of the comedy that's industry. What, yeah, that's exactly right. I that's mean, the, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Hashtag Craig David Dapper laughs. You know, same same. Thank you so much for stopping and talking to us tonight. Good luck with your award. Thank you. Wonderful to speak to you, and good luck with the stuff in the future. Thank you. So Thank you. Follow me. Uh, Dapper's Instagram. Woo -hoo -hoo. And go see him on his stand up as well. Yes. <laughs>